No. Oh, right into the stickers. Ooh. Look at that. We made it to the Estancia El Rosal. We took a bus trip all the way from Cordoba to get here. Uh, wasn't too bad. Like I said, we got our tickets yesterday. The uh, driver of the bus was nice enough to drop us off right here where we're supposed to go. It's not really a normal stop, but uh, he was cool. Did it anyway. But uh, yeah, so let's, uh, uh, we have to give him a call. So why not? I'll give you the phone and you can contact them. And uh, we'll go from there. Where's the phone? Susie doesn't have a phone down here. She just got a data plan from, do you know which company you got your data from? Um, it's through Claro. Claro. Well, uh, one of the eSIMs, she got an eSIM for down here. And I use the eSIM is through Ariel. Ariel. And I just kept my AT&T from America. So I have phone, well, I should say I have the international phone plan. So I can get a call from the uh, United States or I can call out no problem in case we have any issues that way. But again, we use the WhatsApp also, like a lot of people do down here. So that tends to be the, the normal way to uh, communicate with people. Uh, down here in Central America, or even South America, they make do with what they have and they do it so well. America is such a disposable society that you know, we just throw stuff out or waste things. But down here, no. You use what you have and you use all of it because that's all you got, which is, uh, which I think really makes these people great down here is that their ingenuity and the way they do things. A lot of times I think we have way too many rules and bureaucracy in the United States that, that kind of hold people back from achieving good goals and things like that or being able to do things. I mean, it is great to have standards, but sometimes those standards can go too far and just hinder hinder life sometimes. Hinder freedom. Hinder your liberty. You know, it would have been just good enough to walk down this road. It would have been nice enough. Ah, back in nature. Out of the city. Out of the city life. Like a one hour ride, lunch, and another one hour ride. Ah, woodpecker, listen to the sounds of rural Argentina. Look at our view today, and where we're going to be riding. We hear a truck coming. Let's see if it comes around the corner. Is it for us? We don't know. It'll either be our ride, or we're going to get robbed. One or the other. I'm not sure which right now. Let's see what we got going on here. It's a good, good spot for him to turn around to, so we'll just hang out here. See what he or she has to say. Uh, oh well, that wasn't our ride, so we'll continue to walk on up to the uh, Estancia, which should be this way. I'm reading maps right. Oh, pretty cow. Pretty cow. Back inside the fence line. Good cow. I've never walked along with a cow before. No, I'm not my cow grand, literate. My, my grandfather had cows. But we are in the hillier section now, that's for sure. And yeah, as you know, Florida, we don't have too many hills, so. so we made it here. We got picked up at the fence out there, finally, found the proper place to go. Not quite what we were talking about earlier. We'll have miscommunication. To, a little miscommunication between the exactly what ranch. And the videographer. Yeah. Oh, well. Poppy. Hello. Oh, he's a good poppy. Poppy or teeter? Uh, cafe. House? Can I take that? Can you give it to me? Give me the stick. Give me the stick. Let me take this. You had a latte teacher. Hmm? Yeah. Hey. Get it. Get it. Oh, hot doggy. Hot doggy. You got it. You got it. Say hello to the camera. Hello. Hello. Oh, you just want pets, don't you? You're a good doggy. You're a good doggy. Oh, it's a tired little puppy. Oh, it's a little blanket on. Mm. Okay. Alright, so we drink our little coffee they gave us. Get started for the morning. I give you a few tips to ride the horse. You 
rinse always uh, this one with only one hand we are not English people <sighs> I, I move now if you want to stop only pull back and you stop if you want to change direction one side another side it's really easy oh, okay Easy than PlayStation. It's kind of hard to ride a horse while simultaneously holding a selfie stick. Trying to get your horse to go faster because you're falling behind. Vamos, we go, horse, here we go. Up, up. Rancho a La Rosa is pretty awesome. They have, um, they have volunteers here too, so I guess they kind of work where the tourists go and they um, basically take care of the animals, I think, and things like that. Why are we going off the road? Hop, hop. The only thing you kind of have to worry about, some of these trees have thorns on them. I'm not sure if my horse is purposely trying to direct me into the thorns or if we are just, uh, it just happens to be the way this path meanders. Oh. But no, this is nice and relaxing. Especially when you don't have to do all the work. Like, uh, walk. You just enjoy the time outdoors. We got a GoPro running also pointing forward, but so I'm not gonna sure how this is gonna quite turn out. I do not have a gimbal for my camera. Because gimbals cost like insane amounts of money, almost as much as a camera itself. I'm not quite ready to shell out that type of money. Well, we are way off path. We have gone rogue. We have gone horse rogue. There's a little cow. There's a little cow. Hola, cow. So I'm not sure how you say cow in Spanish, but it's not carne. I think carne means uh, more like a well-processed cow. Vaca, dear. Vaca, okay. Vaca. There we go. Vaca. Hop, hop. Good horsey. Good horsey. Oh. Hop, hop. Look at you go. Don't strain yourself. Don't hurt yourself or me. For those who might want to know, when you're encountering thorny trees while riding a horse with low branches, man buns get stuck in the thorns and they yank your head back. You know, it's the things you learn while riding a horse in Argentina with a man bun. The dangers are always present. No. Oh! Right into the stickers. If you decide to come out here and go horseback riding, you might want to bring that long sleeve shirt and definitely a sturdy pair of pants. Caliente! Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. I mean, uh, just the horses, you know, riding them is cool, going through the trees and on the little the little plains area. And then hopefully I got on the GoPro, like when we came to that one thing, we got like the whole mountain view. That is a fucking grand view right there. I might even leave that word in there. That is beautiful. My God, this country is freaking gorgeous. This is the behind the scenes area of the working farm. And then there's our, our new French friends who are out there doing their volunteer work here at the ranch to stay here for free for about a week. And they get to feed the horses and do all things like that, which is kind of cool. That's a really neat experience, especially for the kids. They have a 13 year old and a 16, 16 year old. So uh, that's an experience you don't get uh, many places. Away. 10 months away, man, that must be nice. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> got some pigs down there. I got all the leftovers. Mm. Wow. Mm. You say hi, Gato? Why don't you eat the chickens, little Gato? The chicken, your friend? Amigo? Psst, 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 psst. Ah! Ah. <laughs> Hello, Gato. 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 Hello, Gato.
Vamos la gringa. Là, c'était trop fort. Tour guide was saying that he is a small ranch owner here and kind of the way he makes a lot of his living is by doing these tours or else you know he just wouldn't be able to survive as a small ranch so you know if you get a chance you should check this guy out he has some cool little rides this is our second half of the day ride we had lunch uh, obviously as you saw earlier ribs and some other meats blood sausage uh, some fruits, things like that. First time I had a salad with any meal here. But, uh, okay, let's see if we can catch up. As usual, my horsey is falling behind.